And when we first started the app, the weirdest thing was the negative media around it because it was literally fake. And it was like, wait, what? Like, what is their obsession with this narrative? Like, they were trying to get all these different narratives around the app out before it was even launched. Like, there's no wow. women on this app. This is only, this is like infiltrated by the FBI and like all of these crazy things. And me and my colleagues, like, what is this about? You know, and like, we had a list of people to sign up for the app early, so we had people on it when we were ready. And all we focused on was women, because it's like, you always get the guys, of you know, the women yes, are there. It's like, <laughs> they're all going to come. You guys are easy. So yeah. we had all these lists, all these women that signed up, you know, it was like 90% women. But then, you know, there's like all these articles saying, no one's signing up, it's all men. And it's just like, oh, they're just, like, one, like, why are they doing this? Why do they care so much? Like, wow, they really don't want to see it succeed for some reason. That's funny. And then two was like, I guess they can just make this up and just run with it. And like every article was tagging another article. And like, it was really weird. And this what was like, does that say Yeah, to this you? was in the fall of 22. We were, it was fascinating to see that. We just ignored it and kept doing our work and kept, you know, but it was like, they're really trying to sink this for no reason other than the fact that it's a conservative date nap. They don't want to see it, you know, do I, well. Okay, let's reverse that. Because I actually, like, maybe I'm biased, but I actually can't imagine that happening in the reverse order. Where Whoa, if this yeah. was a liberal dating app, like liberals only, progressives only. Yeah. But a conservative, conservatives, I mean, but probably some. I mean. But like, for the most part, in articles, well, no, because the media. Well, we don't control the media. You know, conservatives don't control exactly. the media. Yeah. So like, I could imagine... If the left-wing version of the right stuff came out, the left stuff, the le <laughs> I could imagine one Fox News article making fun of it, but that's about it. Well, this the, was like, you know. The name would be really lame. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to call it the left stuff. Like yeah, that, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't. They'd have to be a, work a little harder to be a little bit more yeah. creative. No. Swipe left or whatever. So, <laughs> oh, that's, see, you're helping them out. Oh, okay. Swipe. You at home, this could be, <laughs> you know. I think it's, it is fascinating though to, to think about, the, like, the fact that you thought enough of it and your girlfriends thought enough of it to say, let's go on this. Um, the part about women looking for more traditional men. Like, 10 years ago, I can't imagine something like this being as, as well-received. I think timing is everything, you know? For sure. 